Peace and love everyone, peace and love. Now today I'm surprised I'm doing this video. And that's, let's go debunk the reptile aliens, the shape-shifting aliens. People believe that the government's ruling this planet. Bah, hooey. An advanced species wouldn't be so fucking primitive shape-shifting as politicians fucking up this sort of planet and fucking up their own lives as well, in a sense, and just continue doing the same shitty sort of things. No, an advanced species will be focusing on their own self-sufficiency, will be focusing on their own evolution, their own technological advancement, and they would keep to themselves. They wouldn't be trying to conquer the galaxy, burning out their resources. And this place would be a lot hotter and they'd be sunbaking a lot more. <laughs> Now, the Roman circus is when you keep your population fed, you keep them entertained, keep them on a need to no basis and they won't revolt. Um, America, even other politicians and ruling elites, they base their methods off of Rome. Sending soldiers after soldiers. These people are dumb as batshit. They don't invent anything. They come to us to invent something and then they send us to war. Now, some people say that these alien shapeshifters have been ruling the planet for a long time. And they say, oh, this is statue of this lizard man. It's an ancient Sumerian god. And um, what's it called? This comes from the animal spirit guides. Half human, half animal spirit guides that eventually become animal human gods. And it also is a reference to reptilian mind, animalistic not mind, which is your animalistic nature within yourself, your primitive mindset, your shitty actions that you do. And that's why I say remove your reptilian mind, remove your animalistic mind. Is your nature within yourself. Cold-heartedness. Being human means having humanity. Empathy. Knowing yourself. Gnosis of oneself. And when you know yourself, you're not stuck in this illusion of deception. You know yourself, you know others. You can progress yourself. Knowledge. Now, the Tao is ruling philosophy as well, which generals read and military elites and generals, oh, I just said that, politicians read this and it says, don't let your civilization become too intelligent, otherwise you can't rule over them. And this is a big thing, because they don't want it unruly. So this whole bullshit of reptilian aliens is also just propaganda, probably made by them, to deceive you. There's organizations such as Gaia, who disguise themselves as spirituality, but they're a cult. They mix in fact with fiction. They tell the truth even when they lie. That's Scarface. That's what this means. So when you, you're lying, you tell a bit of truth in it. So they're out for your money. And they say, oh yeah, the government's all this. They're in bed with them. They're all making money. They pay government tax for their business and shit. They don't give a fuck. Think about that. So this is deception to control you. And this has gone on for a long time with deception. Even with the old elites, they want to become themselves gods, deities, be worshipped after their death. Now, they were telling you to even go pay the respects to them and shit. They forced you to do it. Gnostics said, go do it then if you want. But just give them what's theirs and take what's yours. So, do what they say, follow the law. You don't have to agree with it. But, ultimately, know oneself. So, don't let them rule over you in a sense, which means don't buy into the material world. Be spiritual, do your own thing. Go out there. Go out and spread knowledge. When enough people are aware of this knowledge, people come together law of attraction, things change. They try to control us with kings. We overthrew them. They try to control us with religion. We overthrew that. We rebelled. They try to control us with governments. And this is just gone through cycles. Things slowly get better. People think we're under control now. We were way more under control back then. And that's because of evolution. As evolution advances, so does empathy. So does love, compassion, higher levels of level being, consciousness. War and hate and lust and greed is just primitive mindsets. Primitive. When life starts, it's primitive. So we advance. So if these species were rolling our planet, surely they would advance too. And they'd be more intelligent. Our politicians aren't exactly that intelligent. They do stupid things. Make stupid laws sometimes. So, this is ultimately what we really need is to rule collectively together. It should be, politicians should be applied for everyone. So we should all be able to apply for it. We should, it should be like jury duty, a jury duty and even have anti-corruption there 24-7 and fully rule collectively. So a limit of power of each individual in a sense. They don't want this. They just want their bloodlines, their families, their organisations. That's it. That is primitive. Because not seeing the bigger picture. When we rule collectively, 
and know what this planet's about is when technology really serves the people, Great Awakening, Age of Aquarius, we go through cycles and ages and such and such. So this is why you see shit that's going on now, it's because scared. And it's because we're advancing. When the and a civilization becomes too intelligent, they can't rule over it. We have to rule collectively. We're evolving. We're going to the next steps and we have to advance into these next steps when technology serves the people, not just the hands of the elites and military. And not just commercialized to control you, you make you in a consumer Maya blind and stuck in a materialistic world. No. This is why some Gnostics hate the material world. There were even the ancient Gnostic sect called Bogomilism, and they were very anarchist. They said to slaves, don't serve their masters. And they hated all governments, hated all of them. And they sort of utterly spoke that they were servants of the devil. <laughs> so you had many forms of Gnosticism back then as well. Many of them didn't like the material rulers. Some believed these material rulers were archons and the demiurge. But this demiurge is really the world government. It's the mindset of this primitive nature of destroying and trying to create and to destroy and failures. And some people even say these alien people live underground, right? These bunkers aren't for that fucking shit, no. Bunkers are there for when there's a war. They go under there and they come back up again and restart over again. That is, you know, in a sense, trying to restart over again. So that means they can try rule over what's left. So they're not going to help any of us, no. no. No normal people are going to be in those bunkers. It's going to be the world elites. So we get fucked up at their expense. So six dodgy people make a, politi a politician party <laughs> or a political party. So all this sort of shit going on is just deception, control. In the Matrix, the AI can't control people who think for themselves. They can only control the weak-minded. People want to believe, either in a god or an alien or Bigfoot. And people just want to follow the leader. People always search for something outside themselves instead of searching from within themselves. When you look from within yourself, oh baby, you find peace. You find love. You know yourself. You find higher levels of compassion, high levels of empathy. Always seeking knowledge and seeking to better yourself. Progress yourself. So this is what life is about, progression, love, growth, empathy. That's why we have this high level of consciousness. Yes, it can also come with greed because it's a balance of yin and yang. So high levels of empathy also comes with high levels of destruction as well. So we find our balance. We must find out what's higher and what we really are. So an advanced species wouldn't be shape-shifting as governments and continually doing shitty, stupid things, you know, and killing each other. No. Imagine what their planet's like if so, if they can't even hold it together here, they'd be fucking stupid. No, they wouldn't be space traveling, they'd be too fucking stupid. So, I call bullshit on this. This is all just deception there to control you, keep you divided. Start looking from within yourself. We don't need religion. And this is ultimately a new age religion. Fuck it off. Look from within yourself. You can be your own guru, you can be your own teacher. And if it's not rational it's probably not true and this reptile shape-shifting alien is not rational it's too much movies and too much comic books that you've been watching and reading the whole idea of mole men and fucking ruling the fucking underground no this wouldn't work we have to think rationally not superstitiously this is where all legends and urban legends and shit like that and come into play superstitions so look from within find yourself and you won't need to look outside of yourself Peace and love, everyone. I love you all. Connect to one, one soul. Namaste.